Good day, everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christchurch Radio. My name is Ayodeji Ebo, an investment professional. This week, we cover investing in stocks. What is a stock? A stock, also known as shares, is a type of investment that represents an ownership share in a company. A stock is an investment. When you purchase a company's stock, you are purchasing a small piece of that company called a share. When you own stock in a company, you are called a shareholder because you share in the company's profits. For companies, issuing stock is a way to raise money to grow and invest in their business. However, for investors, stocks are a way to grow their money and outpace inflation over time. Public companies sell their stock through a stock market exchange, like the Nigerian Exchange NGX, formerly known as Nigerian Stock Exchange NSC, or the NASD OTC Securities Exchange for non-coated shares. Investors can buy and sell these shares among themselves through store brokers. The stock exchange tracks the supply and demand of each company's shares, which directly affects the stock price either up or down. Why should you invest in stocks? Stocks can be a valuable part of your investment portfolio. However, it's important to understand your risk appetite because it has high volatility and is mostly suitable to investors who can tolerate risk. Here are some of the reasons you should invest in stocks. 1. Capital appreciation. The price of a stock will go up or down over time. However, if a company continues to grow and declare profits, the share price will go up over the long term. When it goes up, shareholders can choose to sell their shares at a profit. 2. Dividend income. Most companies pay dividend to their shareholders out of their profits. This is why it is important to target companies that are profitable and will remain profitable over time. Dividends are paid during the year, referred to as interim dividend, and year-end, which is referred to as final dividend. This helps you generate consistent cash flow over time. 3. Liquidity Liquidity in investment means shares can easily be bought or sold. Shares have high liquidity than other type of investments, save for fixed income investment. Typically in Nigeria, when you sell shares, you have access to your funds on the fourth day, C plus 3. This is also why you should invest in stocks that have high liquidity in terms of volume of shares traded daily. How to invest in stocks? 1. Decide your investing approach. There are different ways to invest in the stock market. You can invest in individual stocks. However, this takes a lot of time or requires the help of an investment professional. You will need time to thoroughly research and evaluate stocks on an ongoing basis if you invest in individual stocks, which is our focus this week. On the other hand, you can invest in a stock mutual fund, which investment professionals manage. Two. Set a budget for your stock investment. Investment in the stock market is for the long run. Hence, emergency savings or money you will need in the short term should not be invested in the stock market. For instance, in 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the stock market plunged in March but rebounded within a few months. Hence, investors that were able to stay in the market made significant return. You can set an amount to invest periodically, either monthly, quarterly, or annually to ensure discipline. 3. Open your stock account. Opening a stockbroking account in Nigeria is now very easy with no minimum amount required. You can check for the top brokerage firms with robust online platform, web and mobile, on the Nigerian Exchange website. The Securities and Exchange Commission has begun to issue license to firms to provide access to foreign stocks. The online platform allows you to open your account, fund as well as buy and sell yourself. It's also important to confirm the brokerage fee to reduce your transaction cost. Standard brokerage commission apart from other statutory fees is 1.35% but can be as low as 0.5% based on concession. 4. Select your stocks. You should consider the following when selecting stocks. This is not exhaustive. A. Invest in stocks that have paid dividend consistently in the last 5 years. B. Diversify your stock portfolio by investing in a minimum of 3 to 5 type of companies across different sectors. C. Invest only in business you understand. 
D. Avoid high volatility stocks if you are new to stocks. E. Learn the basic metrics and concepts for evaluating stocks. 5. Manage your stock portfolio. Although worrying over daily fluctuations won't do much for your portfolio's performance, there is the need to check in on your stocks periodically. This is to ensure it's still in line with your investment goals. For instance, if you are approaching retirement, you may want to move some of your stock investments over to more conservative fixed income investments. If your portfolio is too heavily weighted in one sector or industry, consider buying stocks in a different sector to build diversification. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and insightful session. For comments and feedback, kindly forward to CC Radio at rccgchristchurch.org or send SMS to 70 Stay blessed.